literally did all that. Flanked him and everything, bro. All for me to just die like that, bro. I hate choking bloodthirsty so fucking much. I just got jump shotted around the corner by like four guys at once. They all did the same fucking move. They all went like. Jumping out of way like, like, like. Hey, fuck the ah! Like, fuck! God, bro. Why don't you just get tired of it, bro? And the bad part about it is, a lot of kids just do it on instinct now. Like me, I do it on instinct. Holy shit. Yo, what's up guys? Foxy coming to you guys today with a brand new video. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. In today's video, we are going to be talking a little bit about skill-based matchmaking in Cold War. And I'm just going to get my thoughts and feelings on it and all that good stuff. So I hope you guys do enjoy. Let me know down in the comments if you guys feel the same as me at the end of the video. Also, make sure you guys leave a like down below. Subscribe, turn on notifications. If you guys do enjoy this video, it would be greatly appreciated. Go follow me on my Twitch as well. It's down in the description below. We're going to be grinding out some more zombie camos tonight to get closer to Dark Aether. And yeah, without further ado, let's go, bros. All right. So, skill based matchmaking. There's a lot of controversy around this right now. And, uh, dude, I have not played multiplayer in so long, dude. I'm trying to snipe, too. Do you guys like my Plague Diamond camo? Is it like this? Dude, look at this. This is clean bro this joint is clean as balls dude anyways i have been playing a lot of zombies lately we've been grinding out the plague diamond camos to get dark aether and things like that the skill based matchmaking in this game has really screwed me in my opinion or, or it really screwed a lot of people honestly i know that you know oh skill based matchmaking doesn't really matter who you're playing against and things like that i know that a lot of people are just like well you know it's, it's competition it's players that there's the same skills as you so you know they're doing everything that they can first of all i'm gonna be real with you guys I'm not trying to drop 100 kills a game, bro. I really don't care about that. To be honest, I'm more focused on the content aspect of skill-based matchmaking than the gameplay aspect. Yeah, would I like to play well and things like that? Of course I would. Who doesn't want to play well and who doesn't want to have good games and things like that? But see, the, the thing about it is I don't mind a nice competitive match. That's not my issue with skill-based matchmaking. My issue with skill-based matchmaking is the fact that it hinders really good players i don't mind the fact that there is a, a separate bracket for kids who just really really suck if you guys have seen exclusive aces video on twitter or he's probably put it up on youtube where he went into this lobby and they were just complete bots it was ridiculous i was just i was taken back by this because it looked like he was playing against bots and that's not who i want to play against to be honest that's no fun playing against kids that don't even shoot back is not super fun there's got to be this middle ground between kids that don't shoot back and kids that are jump shotting me every single match a lot of people are disgusted with how some people are reverse boosting as well and we're going to talk about the reverse boosting tomorrow because i feel like that should be its own separate video but i will say in this video that i do not blame people for reverse boosting now that being said i don't have a problem with skill based matchmaking either as long as it's in a ranked playlist i wouldn't feel this way if there was league play in this game i know that they're working on it and i know it's coming to the game but i just wouldn't feel the same if there was league play in this game because then you could have league play with the ranked system that you want and things like that and then you could have the just a public match system where it's been the same since the original call of duty games everyone gets matched up with everyone unless you are one of those people who is a bot and that's the thing i don't want to play against the kids that are in that bracket but i shouldn't have to sweat my balls off every single match either you know and this is where the publisher comes in pretty much this is not Treyarch's fault. Treyarch has no control over this stuff. And y'all know me. I've never really been about gameplays or anything like that. It's not on Treyarch's shoulders, man. They have no control over whether the skill-based matchmaking system is in the game or not. People can say, oh, it's definitely on their shoulders. Like, no, it's not, bro. I don't know, man. It's just one of those things that I don't support unless it's in a league play system or a ranked play system, you know? I just don't like it. I don't like to sweat every match. I like to just chill back and have fun. At least that's what I would like to do, but you can in this game. That leads me to my next point. I don't believe there's just skill-based matchmaking in this game. This is not skill-based like Modern Warfare was. I feel like this game has skill-based mixed with performance-based. Because every single time that I'll go double positive in a game, I end up getting completely sweat on the next match. 
and that's so inconsistent which brings me to my very next point which is the inconsistent lobbies in this game <laughs> the inconsistent lobbies in this game bro the inconsistencies in multiplayer are way different than modern warfare it's night and day almost i watched Actman's video on this game and i wanted to hear what he thought about the multiplayer and how he felt about skill-based matchmaking and he feels pretty much the same as everybody else does right now it's crazy to think that most people who play this multiplayer feel like it's a sweat fest all the time even kids who have like a 1 KD or whatever, I feel like they still think it's a sweat fest. My KD was a 1.6 or like a 1.5 before I went for Dark Matter. And now it's at a 1.2, 1.3. And you guys know me. You guys watch how I play. You know, I do jump slides and I you know, jump around corners and things like that at times because, you know, it gives a tactical advantage or not tactical, but it's a good advantage because it surprises the other player. And I don't mind if kids do that to me. I don't mind if, you know, some kid jumps around a corner or whatever. I don't mind if some kid does a slide jump or slides quickly around the corner and outplays me. I don't care about that as long as it's one kid. <laughs> but when it's every single person on their team, it's so annoying because then I feel like I have to sweat my balls off. Ah, get out of here. Not only do I feel like I have to sweat my balls off, I also feel like I can't get anywhere and I can't get better. I can't learn spawns. I can't understand how the game plays when all i have is kids just jumping around corners and shit all the time i just feel like there should be a difference between ranked playlists and public playlists and going back to like the jump sliding and things like that this game tracks your movement and i don't think they did that in modern warfare i really don't think that they tracked your every movement everything you do and all that stuff dude like i said man i feel like this game is more performance based than anything you can go you know 50 and 7 in maybe one maybe two games depending on how low your kd is and then immediately after that you're getting jump shotted and sweat on those are my first two multiplayer games today and i don't know i did better in that second game but i'm just kind of over it i just want to talk about this real quick and kind of see what you guys thought you know if you guys like videos like this and all that stuff let me know down in the comments um yeah thanks so much for watching guys i'll see you guys in tomorrow's video we're talking about reverse boosting Come on.